सदाशिवसंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि सेकेंड चैप्टर पेज नंबर एटी टू वर्स नंबर वन नाट वन इंट्रोडक्शन आत्मात्मनो स्वत पर सिद्ध लौकिकज्जुसर्प सर्पाध्यापवत अविद्योपाश्रय इतरेतराध्यारोप शिवरेश्वराचार्य टॉकिंग अबाउट अध्यास अधिष्ठान संबंध और आत्म अनात्म संबंध आत्मा हैपेंस टू बी अधिष्ठान अधिष्ठान मीन्स सब्सक्रैटम आत्मा ईज द सब्सक्रैटम अनात्मा ईज अध्यास दि सूपर इंपोज अपॉन आत्मा दट अनात्मा ईज सूपर इंपोज अपॉन आत्मा सूपर इंपोजिशन इज कॉल्ड अध्यास इन संस्कृत सूपर इंपोजिशन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट लाइक रोप स्नेक रज्जु सर्प लौकिक दृष्टांत वर्ल्डली एग्जांपल वी यूज वन ए पर्सन लुक एट द रोप एज ए स्नेक इन ट्विलाइट आर डिम लाइट दैट रोप हैपेंस टू बी अधिष्ठान The superimposed snake is called adhyasa. Superimposed object. That superimposition is called adhyasa. Now the rope snake. What type of sambandha they have? What type of relation they have? The relation is adhisthana adhyasa sambandha. Rope snake sambandha is adhisthana adhyasa sambandha. This example is a classical, traditional example to understand how anatma, the body-mind complex, is superimposed upon the adhisthanam, me, the Brahman consciousness. This uh, sambandha, when adhyasa has taken place, a person do interaction because of this sambandha. Sometimes with uh, four pramata, pramanam, prameyam, and prama. Four are there sometimes in interaction. That sambandha relation has got four factors. Sometimes that sambandha relation has got uh, three factors: pramata, pramanam, prameyam, triputi. Or sometimes only two. Pramata and Prameyam, the internal thought Pramata and that Prameyam external object. So whatever it may be, there are four factors or three factors or two factors. The relation, once it takes place, the Vyavahara takes place. So for that, Adhyasa Adhishthana, the Adhyasa part of this mixture, we have to negate. Superimposed part. The snake part, it's not snake park, but snake part, the bhaga, the amsha, 
the snake amsha sarpa amsha has to be taken out has to be falsified how through light apta vakyam like that here also atma is the adhisthanam anatma happens to be the snake like adhyasa anatma is there so this anatma anatma is also anadi anatma is anadi atma is also anadi anadi means beginningless so atma is also there from beginningless time anatma is also there from beginningless time both are anadi then dvaita problem comes if you say both are anadi for that vedantin has got a answer even though both are anadi both means atma and anatma atma means self anatma means non self self and non self both are beginninglessly they are there that at- anatma has got four names anatma has got another three names also prakriti is another name for anatma maya is another name for anatma mula vidya is another name for anatma mula vidya ra gnana you can call so these are all synonyms of anatma so this superimposition happening because of ajnanam ignorance mula vidya so anatma when it is in uh, manifest form that mithya padartha it is anatma even though it is beginninglessly there it is mithya padartha mithya padartha it is unreal it is uncountable atma and anatma both are there beginninglessly but um, anatma happens to be mithya so mithya padartha alone is called anatma mithya padartha alone is called maya mithya padartha alone is called prakriti mithya padartha alone is called mula vidya whatever be the name it is called anatma mithya padartha anatma vyakta avasthayam mithya padartha anatma iti uchyate avyakta avasthayam mithya padartha maya prakriti mula vidya iti uchyate so vyakta avasthayam avyakta avasthayam there is no dvaitam problem once it is mithya uncountable you cannot count it as real as atma atma is satyam anatma is mithya uncountable you cannot uh, give um, it is svatas siddha na paratas siddha he says here that which is paratas siddha that which is existing because of dependence taking existence borrowed existence that which is depending is negatable anatma which is mithya mithya is that which is negatable through gnanam gnanena agnanam nashyati gnanena agnanam nashyati agnanam eva adhyasasya karanatvat ಅಧ್ಯಾಸಃ ಕಥಂ ನಶ್ಯತಿ ಅಧ್ಯಾಸಃ ಸೂಪರ್ ಇಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಸೊ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಾವಸ್ಥಾಯ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಇದು ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಾವಸ್ಥಾಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ mind is anatma it is vyakta avastha avyakta avastha yam when it is in potential form unmanifest form in deep sleep or pralaya 
एट दैट टाइम दिस मिथ्या पदार्थ इज इन पोटेंशियल फॉर्म इट इज कॉल्ड प्रकृति माया अविद्या देर फॉर दिस अविद्या इज द काज फॉर सुपर इंपोजिशन अविद्या इज अनदर नेम इज कॉल्ड अज्ञानम रिमूव अज्ञानम अविद्या गोष वे अविद्या गोष अध्यास विल गो वे वेन अध्यास गोष संसार प्रॉब्लम विल आलो गो अवे देर फोर लुक इन टू द इंट्रडक्षन एवं एक इन दिस् मैनर एस एड अब सारी ई हेव टू रीड द प्रीविय श्लोक हंड्रेड ओके सारी ई हेव टू कंप्लीट दट वन एवं means as above said shloka means 100th shloka i have not completed 100th shloka also 100th shloka introduction i have to give vakshyamana itaretara adhyara adhya adhyasaha that adhyasa super that start topic is same but i have taken the next verse uh, introduction vakshyamana that which is going to be said इतरेतर अध्यास इतरेतर मीन म्यूचुअल अध्यास सूपर इंपोजिशन टू रिवील दट सूपर इंपोजिशन आफ् अनात्मा ओवर आत्मा अध्यास सिद्ध्यर्थम टू एस्टाब्लिश दैट उक्त व्यतिरेकाद दैट विच ईज आलरे स्टेटेड उक्त व्यतिरेक अनुवाद व्यतिरेक मीन द डिस्टिंगशन बिटवी आत्मा अंड अनात्मा दट हुच ईज आलरे प्रफौंडेड दट सूपर इंपोजिशन ईज नौ गोयिंग टू बी रिपीटेड फर्दर क्लारीटी सेक इन दि श्लोका हि ईज गोयिंग टू एक्सप्लेन दट हाउ दि सूपर इंपोजिशन टेक्स प्लेस ही गिवस टू एक्सापल then dashtanta also he come gives gatha bud verse number 100 gatha buddher gata charthah drashtur yad edvat bhinnata aham buddher aham gamya am gamyat दुखिनश्च तथा दृश नौ ही इज डिस्टिंक्टली प्रेजेंटिंग दैट वट ईज दट सूपर इंपोज वन घटबुद्धे घटा चु भिन्नता भिन्नता मीन्स डिफरेंट जस्ट एज द घटबुद्धि means pot knowledge pot knowledge ghata buddhi ghata ghata that means pot from pot ghata buddhe he ghata the one who sees the pot one who sees the pot is different from the um, pot thought so i am experiencer of the pot so pot thought is there and pot experiencer pot thought means pot experiencer pot experiencer is different from pot ghatat bhinnata ghatat bhinnata means the experiencer is different from the pot i am not the pot pot is an object i am the subject the experiencer the observer observer of that object is different from that object so similarly similarly second line he says consciousness also same like that drashtuhu edvat bhinnata just as the experiencer of the pot is different from the pot similarly this is external object suppose it is internal internal also i am the sakshi chaitanyam who is the witnesser of the knowledge of the pot in the mind that is why i say i know the pot i know that i know the pot 
so i am the witness uh, witness consciousness who is witnessing the experiencer who is experiencing the pot so this is the third step inside pot pot experiencer and pot experiencer sakshi is there inside witness consciousness so the experiencer happens to be pramata pramata is anatma because of chidabhasa ahankara therefore he want to separate this consciousness from pramata and prameyam second line aham buddhehe aham gamyat dukkhinascha tadha drishehe drishehe bhinnata drishehe means atma chaitanyam atma chaitanyam what is the difference here now look in the second line he says aham buddhehe aham buddhi means i thought i thought also must have aham buddhehe aham gamyatvat must have an object that is body mind complex inside aham buddhi i am thought previously first line part thought the object is outside when the first line i know the part when i am experiencer of the part part is outside part is outside experiencer is inside what about the second line second line he says aham buddhi i thought previously part thought part is outside part thought is inside now i thought non angara vritti aham vritti aham buddhi means aham vritti aham buddhi he the i thought also must have an object just as the pot experiencer has got pot object outside i thought comes thought about whom about body mind complex that's what he says aham buddhehe aham gamyatvad aham gamyat aham gamyat means sharirattrayam sharirattrayam how do you know sharirattrayam he knows an i thought comes immediately i am a dukhi 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 sukhi ragi dveshi i am therefore he gives dukhinaha aham gamyat dukhinaha i am sorrowful i thought comes first then i am sorrowful thought comes see pot thought and pot knowledge i see the pot i know the pot thought and object thought and object similarly i thought and what is the object of i thought i am happy or i am a dukhi i am sorrowful that is why dukhi na ha i am a dukhi aham gamyat dukhinascha i am a sorrowful one i am a happy one i am a happy person i am a sorrowful person i am a sad person who knows that i know that i thought is the vritti it is experiencing the sorrowful person sorrowful mind happy mind hatred mind loving mind kind mind all these emotions are internal so this internal anatma thought anatma is equal to thought and world thought and world world means what i thought and pot thought external world then second line simultaneously internal thoughts also internal thought means happy thought uh, sorrowful thought they are internal sorrow is not outside like a pot hmm? sorrow is my internal thought emotion that emotion is also what tadha drishaha bhinnata it is different from me the consciousness 
भिन्नता दृश्य भिन्नता तथा जस्ट एज द पॉट एक्सपीरियंसर इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द पॉट सिमिलरली आई थॉट एंड आई एम सॉरोफुल बोथ आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द विटनेसर ऑफ सारो फुल माइंड हु नोस माइंड इज सारोफुल साक्षी चैतन्य आई एम कॉन्शियस ऑफ सारोफुल माइंड सारोफुल माइंड कम्स टू द सारोफुल थॉट राइज फर्स्ट देन आई एम सारोफुल नॉलेज कम्स आई एम सारोफुल आई नो आई एम सारोफुल आई नो इज द आई थॉट आई नो वाट आई एम सारोफुल आई एम सैड दैट सैडनेस आर सारो come under object of that i thought so that i thought it at subjective level internal these two are internal i thought and i am i am sorrowful i am sorrowful mind my mind is sorrowful i am sorrowful mind has got sorrow this person superimposed that uh, um, mind sorrow upon himself or herself and say i am sorrowful so that i am sorrowful that dukhi aham sorrow sad i am sad is an object of i thought i thought is experiencing the sorrowful mind therefore i am the witnesser of this uh, i thought and uh, sorrowful mind because i am the witnesser means i am lending existence to the mind and that sorrowful mind i am giving existence to the i thought because of chidabhasa my chit i am the chit giving chidabhasa to the mind because of that mind is uh, sentient really speaking mithya anatma mind cannot be sentient we take that uh, sentience belongs to the mind mind has got borrowed sentience achetana manaha has got sentience as it were we do not know that because of ajnanam when we study shastra we come to know otherwise we cannot know therefore mithya anatma padartha is insentient achetanam therefore we should not extend the example here in ropes neck example what is the important point i mentioned in the last class snake is superimposed upon the rope when we say it is a mental projection it is a mental projection but uh, anatma body mind complex is superimposed upon brahman the consciousness is not a mental projection it is not a mental projection we have to understand this we should not mix up the uh, extend this we have to um, see only focus on the um, adhyasa here superimposition only we have to focus Uh, mixed up um, uh, this uh, adhyasa means uh, that uh, snake example that unreal snake um, we mixed up in that it is a mental projection snake therefore body mind is also a mental projection we say we should not say it like that as a wrongly extending the example my world is not a mental projection it is uh, um, because of ajnanam it is superimposed by ignorance not by the mind mind is also one of the anatma how can mind can superimpose the world upon the consciousness mind itself is anatma how anatma can superimpose the world body mind upon the atma therefore in example snake is superimposed upon the rope is a mental projection whereas the body mind superimposition upon brahman the consciousness is because of ignorance that is what he is telling in this um, 101 introduction 
so this um, shloka is over hundredth shloka is over over in saddarshanam ramana maharshi says dhiya sahodeti dhiya stamiti when the buddhi rises all the i thought this that thought all will come when the buddhi subsides no other object appears therefore i am the chaitanyam that chaitanyam means what anatma vetiriktah body mind complex thought vetiriktah object vetiriktah i am different from that drishah bhinnata i am drik drishah means from the drish drik i from me the drik the body mind thought object world everything is different so eva meva we have already read this portion one not one introduction so that is what i am explaining evam eva as said above 100th verse etayoho atma anatmanoho atma anatmanoho etayoho svatasiddhah paratasiddhah what is svatasiddhah atma is svatasiddhah it is independently existing not depending upon any thing for its existence svatas siddha whereas paratas siddha anatma anatma mind body etc all of them are dependently existing dependently revealed by with borrowing chidabhasa they are existing revealing themselves by borrowing chidabhasa from me who is svatasiddha from me means which me lakshartha me or vachartha body mind complex or consciousness sakshi chaitanya sakshi chaitanya from me so i am independently reveal myself without chidabhasa paratasiddha sharirattrayam reveal by taking borrowing chidabhasa from me that is the meaning svatas svataha parataha siddhaha siddhayoho laukika rajju sarpa laukika drishtanta worldly example rope snake adhyaropa havat just like that adhyaropa adhyaropa vat means like that superimposition like that means what rajju sarpa rajju sarpa means rajju means rope sarpa means snake like rope snake like our rope snake adhyaropa ashraya this atma anatma body mind complex thought sorrowful happy mind world objects are all are superimpositions because of ignorance because of ignorance so the because of uh, rope ignorance mind superimpose uh, snake therefore mental projection we say snake thought comes in the mind hmm? once rope thought doesn't arise snake thought comes in the mind that's why mental projection it is whereas in the case of atma anatma anatma atma both are close intimate mutually superimposed mutually means anatma body mind is superimposed upon atma because of ignorance itare tara adhyaropah mutual superimposition so we give the features of rope to the snake how much long it is how much thick it is how much curved it is these are all descriptions are belong to the rope but we are superimposing upon to the snake which is not there because that is the superimposition adhyaropah iti etadah for that purpose i am going to give this example i will read the shloka two examples in two verses he gives verse number 101 abhrayanam <clears throat> yatha mohat sheshabhrut sreshabhrutyadhyavasyati sukhitvadi 
सुखित्वा देश सुखित्वा दीन्धियो धर्मान तद्वदात्मनि मन्यते we we saw this example many times in panchadashi also now what he says abhrayanam yatha yatha just as so examples are beautiful if you understand the ashtanta is very easy if you understand the example yatha mohat just as just as mohat because of delusion abhrayanam when the clouds are moving fast yanam means moving abhra means cloud what cloud water bearing clouds app vibharti iti abhram app means not english app sanskrit app is called water that water holder is called abhram water holder clouds water holding clouds they are moving fast every one of us has experienced this when they are moving in the night especially you see the moon is there and uh, clouds are moving so fast because of wind and we see we think that moon is moving moon is going move fast na the moon cannot move moon does not move but uh, uh, clouds are moving we superimpose the movement of the clouds upon the movement moon and we say moon is moving very fast if you want to see go see again in the night abhrayanam yatha mohat this is because of delusion hmm? delusion ignorance sheshabhrut adhyavasyati sheshabhrut means moon why sheshabhrut moon is called sheshabhrut na <laughs> शशि विभर्ति शशभृत द मून इज दैट रैबिट इज कॉल्ड शश शश इज कॉल्ड रैबिट लाइक अ रैबिट हैज गॉट ए मार्क रैबिट लाइक मार्क दैट मून हैज गॉट दैट्स वाई द होल्डर द कैरियर ऑफ द मार्क ऑफ द रैबिट दैट्स वाई मून इज कॉल्ड शशभृत शशाक शशाक द वन हु ईज हैविंग द मार्क अपॉन हिमसेल्फ द मून लाइक रैबिट रैबिट लाइक मार्क हु ईज हैविंग दट मून शशभृत अध्यवस्यति अध्यवस्यति मीन सुपर इंपोज the abhrayanam is superimposed upon the sheshabhrut sheshayanam like chandrayanam chandra is moving what is not moving in chandra is not moving clouds are moving are we superimposing or not we are doing that in spite of knowing we are doing that ap experientially we are seeing that similarly come to dashtanta ओके सुखित्वादी धिया धर्मान सो धिया धर्मान धिया मीन्स बुद्धि इनसाइड थॉट्स इमोशंस हियर धर्मान तद्वद वी हैव टू सी द प्रिंटिंग मिस्टेक करेक्ट देयर शुड बी अ डॉट ऑन धर्म धर्मान धर्मांस तद्वत आत्मनि आत्मनि अपॉन आत्मा वी सुपर इम्पोज वाट बुद्धि धर्म वाट आर द बुद्धि धर्म इच्छा द्वेश सुखम दुखम संगात चेतना धृति लाड कृष्ण सैड इन भगवद्गीता लाइक्स डिजलाइक्स लव कंपैशन hatred sorrow sadness all this etc etc sukhitvaadi sukha happy etc dukha raga dvesha kama krodha all of them they are the attributes of 
माइंड अंतकरण धिया धर्मान दिस इज कॉल्ड धर्माध्यास सो द फीचर्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दैट एट्रिब्यूट्स ऑफ दैट माइंड धिया धर्मान सुखिवादीन आत्मनी तद्वत मनते सिन एक्जैक्टली वाट ई हव टू से मै मैंड इज सारोफुल मै मैंड इज सो हापी मै मैंड ईज आंग्री अब सुन बट वाट वी से ई एम आंग्री ई एम सारोफुल ई एम हापी ओ एम आलो लोअर ई हयर ई ईज द Higher I, I am the Sakshi Chaitanya cannot be touched by this mind, this dharma. But because of not knowing the higher I, I am Atma Aham. I take myself as the lower I, Ahankara Chidabhasa Sahita Jiva Atma Aham. And uh, taking the mind, which is having lot of gradations, saro. Uh, happiness uh, or desires likes it is likes all are there in the mind i superimpose those attributes of the mind upon myself higher i the lower i is not known lower i is fake i mithya i but i because of not knowing the higher i i take the lower i as myself and i take those attributes of the mind as mine and i say i am sorrowful i am happy i am so so okay i am you know gloomy gloomy all these are happening is called samsara okay that is called samsara manyate this person is considering in spite of listening to Up- upanishads uh, bhagavad gita for a length of time somebody is insulting somebody is criticizing somebody is not giving respect to me not caring my words na avada thukkame varad e anna pochi ella naishkar me siddhi class gaan vichar sagara class gaan oh chumma ke karade easy but implementing into life is not so easy but the shastra says like this this person is anyonya dharma adhyasah karoti this is one example what example that cloud movement superimposed upon the moon similarly in mental attributes antakarana attributes all dharma sai superimpose upon myself that's why i say i am sorrowful therefore if you understand life is an entertainment if you don't understand your real nature life is miserable so life is miserable because of ignorance remove ignorance agnyanena ज्ञानम भवति अज्ञाने नश अज्ञ ज्ञानेन अज्ञान नाशः भवति अज्ञान नाशः कथं भवति ज्ञानेन सो ज्ञानम इज रिक्वायर्ड लिसन टू फर्दर फर्दर शास्त्र दैट इज नेक्स्ट श्लोक 102 सिमिलर एग्जांपल आल्सो वी सा प्रीवियसली धग्दृत्वं च यथा बुद्वन्ने अयसो मन्यते कुधी चैतन्यम तदात्मीय मोहात्कर्तरी मनते यथा जस्ट एज वन्ने द फयर दृत्व बर्णिंग नेचर बर्णिंग पवर् ऑफ दट फयर वन्ने दृत्व burning nature of the fire we superimpose upon ayasaha manyate kudhihi unintelligent person kudhihi means unintelligent person what he does manyate by because of ignorance he considers that ayasaha that hot fire hot iron ball फयर बॉल दे से फयर बॉल आयर बॉल द रॉड वेन इट ईज बर्निंग इन द फयर इट बिकम्स रेड एंड हॉट सो दट रॉड बर्ंट मी दट हॉट रॉड बर्ंट मी हॉट प्लेट बर्ंट मी वेन यू 
when you are putting dosa, you know, in the dosa kalle. When you putting dosa, when you are putting and doing many times, you know, ladies especially, they get, you know, fingers get burnt and sometimes heat touches. You will get marks also after some time. You know? That marks will go only after a long time. So what you say, what happened, you know? this hot plate burnt me, you know? hot plate burnt, uh, fire burnt you. Uh. Hot plate cannot burn. Hot plate is hot because of fire. Okay. Hot plate, those are color. Hot plate is hot because of fire. Fire burnt me, we don't say. Hmm? Fire has burnt me, we don't say. What we say? That hot plate has burnt me. That hot rod burnt me. Like that we say. That hot rod burnt that object. Actually, hot rod doesn't exist. It is borrows the heat also, redness also. Red hot hmm, fireball or a, a rod cannot burn you. Really, who burnt the hand? Fire. But we don't say that. Therefore, this is called superimposition. Manya de kudhi unintelligent people talk like that, thinking as though they are intelligent. Similarly, Chaitanyam Tadvat Atmiyam. The Chaitanyam, that consciousness I am, Tadvat means like that, like that example here also. I am consciousness principle is self consciousness. Awareness, self-conscious -consci entity, but mind is like iron ball. <clears throat> mind is like an iron rod, hot plate. Mind cannot be sentient, conscious by itself. Therefore, he says, "Mohat kartari atmiyam manyate." This chaitanyam belong to. This kartari, kartari means um, ahankara. Kartari is the ahankara, karane, um, iti, um, agnanat, avignanat, because of antakarana um, is sentient now. The mind is sentient, able to have dukhitvam, sukhitvam, the dukkha thought, happy thought, all are rising and feelings are coming and going, all these because of sentiency in the mind. How that sentiency has come? You are telling, I am sorrowful. Really, to know that I am sorrowful, that sorrow rising in the mind, really speaking, that uh, mind has got its own... Uh, Mm, expression mind has borrowed the sentiency that is why I belongs to the Chaitanya sorrow belongs to the mind see here high hot plate burnt me hot plate burnt me the hotness belongs to the fire not to the hot plate hotness belongs to the fire but hot plate burnt me when you say, really speaking, is it right statement or wrong statement? Wrong statement. A plate can never burn you. Plate has become hot because of fire. Similarly, here, this uh, Chaitanyam, you have to see like a fire. Okay? In the place of Chaitanyam, um, in the place of fire, you see the Chaitanyam. Chaitanyam, fire like Chaitanyam. Okay, mind like iron rod, <laughs> mind like iron rod, burnt me means dukhitvam, burning is called dukhitvam, sukhitvam, ragi, dveshi, kami, krodhi, all these are all uh, uh, burning like, <laughs> okay, burning like. <clears throat> so that uh, hotness, at last, just as the hotness belongs to the fire. I am sorrowful when you say originally that I belongs to the fire like Chaitanyam, I am Chit. 
really speaking i am never sorrowful because of that proximity prox fire can never come and burn to your hand fire can never come and burn to your hand you go near the fire and keep your hand get burnt okay fire never burn so fire is always with another padartha either firewood or any object rupam rupo pratirupam babhuva endend rupathinude pidikiradho and fire andanda rupam adu edukum if it is with iron rod it looks like iron rod fire iron ball iron ball like similarly atma nirupaha nirakaraha it uh, pervades the mind and thought it get the shape of that thought that mind mind also doesn't have shape but uh, that object associated with what that gets the association that thought the mind which are all sentient because of fire like consciousness i am chaitanya look into the second line chaitanyam tadvat chaitanyam aatmiyam belonging to me the antakaranam antakarane antakarane avijnanat this is uh, avijnanat means because of ignorance mohat means because of ignorance delusion kartari manyate they belong to the karta kartari means antakaranam hankara aham karta iti ahankara i am the doer i am the enjoyer i am the sufferer this i is fire like consciousness i am sorrowful i am beautiful i am sad i am priya moda pramoda happy happier happiest all belong to the antakaran why i am happy why i am uh, sad because of so and so object so and so relation so and so interaction so and so situation so with anatma antakaranam is anatma interacting with another anatma 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 interaction indriyasya indriyasya arthe raga dvesham vyavasthitau tayoh vasham na agacchet they are interacting because of that anatma nature they are fluctuating they have gradation they have degradation they have lot of uh, uh, moda pramoda priya etc etc that is called uh, kosha ananda pratibimba ananda anatma is never secure i the atma i am ever secure anatma is never the same it is uh, satishayam gradation is there i the consciousness am niratishyam there is no change in the fire fire is ever the same but the objects that which it holds differs so i the atma am all pervading pervading in the mind also pervading in the thought also because of that refined matter mind i reflect in the mind because of that reflection chidavasa happens because of that reflection mind also appears as sentient just as the iron rod become red and hot borrowed from where borrowed from fire iron rod ayasaha means sakarantaha napumsakalingaha ayasyabdah ayaha ayasi ayamsi ayasaha shashti vibhakti ayasaha not ice ayasaha means of that iron ball iron ball like here also mind is like iron ball it becomes chaitanyam red hot <laughs> rod like this antakaranam ahankara also become man mind also become chaitanyam and you say that chaitanyam once it is borrowed sentient you say and mind has got lot of complaints all complaints you put on your head <laughs> i have this problem that problem this problem that problem our own problems body problems are uh, so one 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 thing and family other members relations other problems therefore all samsara is dukkha is because of superimposition agnana 
let us go to next um, now how to come out of this ajnana what is the consolidation ajnanam is the cause adhyaropa is because of ajnanam ignorance avidya mula vidya anatma another name is what unmanifest anatma is mula vidya prakriti maya manifest anatma is what body mind complex so i am body i am mind this is because of ajnana ignorance ha therivele swamini people think they are knowledgeable wise and wise uh, wise if unless you study shastra from a guru thoroughly and analyze like this anatma atma vichara unless you do this uh, you can never have that security you can never own up uh, you are ever secure abhaye bhaya darshinah abhayam pratishtham vindate adaso bhayangato bhavati udaram antaram kurute i am secure ever atman because of my blessing this body mind functioning ipdi solla vendide poi na enna pannindirken i am unfortunate person i am kimah gumna sadhuna karavam kimah gum paapam karavam iti like this people are worrying agnyanis are worrying you are all not worrying because you are all senior students no? naishkarme siddhi students you are not supposed to worry okay next page 83 verse number 103 introduction sarva evayam atmanatma विभाग प्रत्यक्षादि प्रमाण प्रमाणवर्तमनी अनुपति अविद्योत्संगे न परमात्मा व्यपाश्रय अस्य अस्याच अविद्यानर्थहेतो कुतो निवृत्ति चेत आहाचार्यलिंग ऐ एम गोयिंग टू टेल यू ऐ एम गोयिंग टू टेल यू न सीफ यू हेव that question how to come out of this ajnanam okay ajnanam is the cause for this samsara problem superimposition how to come out of this ajnanam superimposition is because of ajnana mula vidya how to remove this mula vidya how to remove this ajnanam you have to remove ajnanam by gnanam by gnanena so he says सर्व सर्व आल दिस् आर् आत्म अनात्म विभाग एंडे नौ वट आर आल वी आर् डूयिंग आत्मनात्म विवेक प्रमाता प्रमाण प्रमेय प्रम त्रिपुटी वी आर् टाकिंग अबउट अनात्मा एलॉबरेटली एंड आत्मा सत् चित् चिदाभास अहंकार ओल दिस् आर् आल डिस्क्रिप्शन सर्व all of them atma anatma vibhagah the distinction the division of the duality is um, according to an account of atma anatma the distinction the description of atma anatma division whatever we are talking based on what based on what this discussion pratyaksha adi आदि पदार्थ प्रत्यक्ष अनुमान उपमान अर्थापत्ति अनुपलब्धि मेनी प्रमाण सर्दे प्रत्यक्षादि प्रमाण वर्तमनी वर्तमनी मीन्स इन दैट प्रोसेस इन दैट मार्ग द ड्यूलिटी प्रूवड बै आल दि प्रमाण वर्तमनी मीन्स लॉजि आलो प्रूव द्वैतम प्रमा प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाण प्रोस्वैतम 
अनुमान प्रमाण प्रूफ द्वैतम एंड प्रूफ मीन्स दे टॉक अबाउट द्वैतम नॉट प्रूविंग है सखे सब यू यूज टू टॉक अबाउट द्वैतम यू यूज इधर प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाण आर अनुमान प्रमाण आर उपमान प्रमाण आर अर्धापत्ति वाट एवर सिक्स प्रमाण सर देर यू आर यूजिंग प्रत्यक्षादि प्रमाण वर्तमानी वर्तमानी अनुप अनुपति अनुपति द्वैत अनुपति मीन्स इन द लैप ऑन द लैप ऑफ अविद्या उत्संग वर्ती अविद्या उत्संग मीन्स दीज आल इंट्रैक्शन वाट एवर यू आर् डूइंग द्वैत ड्यूलिटी ईज ऑन द लैप ऑफ दैट उत्संग मीन्स लैप ऑन द लैप ऑफ वाट अविद्या इग्नरेन्स because of ignorance only whatever be the type of division anupapatitah means whatever be the type of division the divisions between guru shishya division pitru putra division avishyam pashyati karya karanataya karya karana division cause effect division आर इन एक्सपीरियंसड एक्सपीरियंस डिविशन वाट एवर डिविशन यू टॉक अबाउट यू टॉक अबाउट दे आर ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ दे आर ऑल ऑन द लैप ऑफ उत्संग ऑन द लैप उत्संग लैप ऑफ उत्संग वर्ति Usangavarti means they are on the lap of ignorance only. Any interaction with the world is giving reality to the duality. If you just interact with the world, there is no problem. But to interact with the reality, in with the duality, then it is called samsara. Na paramatma vyapashreya. These are all not depending upon atma. consciousness so my son my daughter my husband my master my my guru my house my car gnani also does interaction gnani also does interaction but there is no problem for gnani for him it is or her it is an entertainment but for an agnani because they give reality to that uh, therefore there is a problem सो अबाधित द्वैतम ही संसार अबाधित द्वैतम अनगेटेड अनगेटेड आर मिथ्यात्व निश्चय रहित मिथ्यात्व निश्चय रहित व्यवहार संसार कारण मिथ्यात्व निश्चय रहित मीन विथट फॉलिफइंग दट ड्यूलिटी एंड इट्स रियालीटी reality if you without taking out the reality in the duality okay without taking the reality in the duality until that time you will have a samsara this is called abadhita dvaitam badhita dvaitam no problem badhita means what interaction is done it is a beauty it's my vibhuti you need not destroy the body mind complex you need not close your eyes you should not you need not stop your thoughts you need not run away from the world really speaking happily marry have a children nicely enjoy and uh, this is all my vibhuti in uh, wonderful all rishis were happily grahasthas children are there and they are all how much with gnanam they lived why can't you live like a rishi be like a rishi and live Vedanta never talks about to give up with this one that one go away from the house uh, give up all the things Krishna you see Krishna how much he was in the world but he was uh, always transcend the world hmm? that's called transcendence what is real transcendent transcendental meditation they talk <laughs> okay real this is called transcendence i transcend the body mind complex including while i am in the body mind complex that is called gunatito bhavarjuna more in the next class 
पूर्णमदूर्नमदूर्नामुदे पूर्णश पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य शातिशाति हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं